Hello everyone, my name is Kevin, and this is another episode of Examine That Sentence in Old East Prankish. So, in this episode is a special one, because I have actually more than one sentence. So, this, so the, uh, the naming of this video should actually be name, uh, sorry, pardon me, uh, Examine Those Sentences. Uh, but, you know, just for a treat, I like to add more sentences in this particular episode, because... It shows some uh, connection, you know, th these aren't two random sentences, they come in sequence, so to speak, one after the other. So, let's go right in. Alright, so what would we have here? We have, Thu quad sin moter zi imo, sun zio tati thu un so, ich inti din fater serente suoch tumes dich, dich. So, what does this mean? What is going on here? So, we have vo here, and this is a, lack of a better term, uh, an adverb. Like, it's like saying then, uh, at this time, so to speak. It, it, it's cognate to the Old English, uh, for those of you who have <clears throat> Old English as a background, as a, oh, whoops, uh, something like the. Hang on, forgive me, I need to switch my keyboard to uh, my Old English one. All right, so, so... So like the like that. Normally you see that in Anglo-Saxon text, but we're dealing with all these Frankishers. So this is like so, so it's like saying then, then quad is that cognate to the uh, like saying quat in old English like said. So so then then uh, said. Uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, ooh, what's going on here? All right. So then said. Excuse me, pardon me. Okay, then said seen. Uh, this is his. Uh, uh, this origin of the G modern German word uh, seine, meaning his. So his, um, the, then said his mother, uh, Mutter, mother uh, to him. So T T is as you would use as you would use in English uh, to. And immo is is uh, the masculine uh, dative singular uh, to him, right? I, in this context, it means uh, to him. So um, then it says sun. This is sun. Uh, normally in old High German or, or old West Germanic languages at the time, or Germanic languages at this time, I believe this is ninth century, uh, be sunu, but this is um, uh, a uh, contracted form, so to speak. So, so we just have sun. So tziu, uh, uh, tati. So tziu is a little, is a little interesting um, because uh, it's actually uh, it's actually a um, uh, a contracted form of tsi. Hang on, hang on. So tsi. Uh, hang on, see, Hugh. It's like saying for Juan in Old English. It's like for what, if you will. Or in other, way, in, in, or in other ways, it's like saying for what or saying um, why. So, so why, son, why, uh, tati, tati, du uns so. So, tati is um, the uh, past... Uh, it is the past uh, or preterite uh, second person um, singular <laughs> of the verb tuon, meaning to do. So why, okay, I'm going to use an older way of saying this. Why didst thou, thu, is the, like uh, uh, origin of the word do, but origin, but, going, but in the English way, it's like saying thou. Why didst thou... Us, uns is us, so to speak. Uh, and so, so, all right. What? So, son, why did, uh, did um, why didst thou us? So, okay. Well, how about I translate it a little differently, so in a more understandable English. So, why did you do us? So, uh, and so in this context, it's, it's like saying like this. Like the uh, like this, uh, like that. So hang on, let me just fix it up a bit, make it more concise. So it's like, son, why did you, why did you do us like that? Why did you do to us like that or like this? Um, 
And then in the other, uh, in the in the third sentence here, um, there's more after this, by the way. So this is a pr pretty lengthy episode because I want to um, uh, have have uh, subsequent um, sequence sentences, if that makes sense. So ich inti din fater serente suh tomes dich. So ich is I, inti is and, din is your. Yours singular. Um, so if I'm talking to one person, I'm I would use uh, thin. Uh, your father, serente, serente, serente. Okay, so this word <clears throat> here is actually a. Um, this word here, serente. This is actually a um, present participle. Um, it's it's kind of like how in English you'd have like the ing. Like, um, he was singing, no, 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 or sorry, no, that'd be a, a better uh, example would be the barking dog. So the, uh, so the present participle is being used as an adjective. So I and your father, uh, uh, well, serente, this means like, uh, sorrow, uh, is this going to be like a clunky translation, like sorrow, um, so this is so the so the so uh, I and your father sorrow um sur Thomas like uh, that that is um uh Thomas that is a verb um which is like uh past tense um past tense plural and it's uh the uh, uh, suchen origin of the word suchen in today's German so it's, so, so to seek um, is the uh, in English cognate. So, um, I and your father. Um, okay, so this is the more understandable English. Uh, in sorrow or suffering, because uh, uh, it could mean that as well. I uh, and your father suffering uh, had uh, sought. Uh, you, yeah, dich is, is uh, origin of, of dich in today's German. Um, it's like saying the in um, in uh, in later in later English. Uh, this is the singular accusative. So, if those of you who have a German background, uh, dich and dich uh, would come natural to you. So, I and your father suffering had 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 sought you in other words if i were to put in more understandable english had looked for you um looked f for for you the person and not looking on the on on the account of you so hope that makes sense well not so in this uh in this sentence so wo qual sin mo sin moter zimo sun zio tati du uns so Ich in inti din vater serente suhtumis adich. Then said his mother to him, Son, why did you do do to us? Why did you do us so? Like this, like that. I and your father suffering had, had looked for you. So I hope that's a understandable translation um, to the best of my degree. I know I didn't color code it this time, but... Uh, hopefully it makes sense, and then we'll move on to the next part, which was a little challenging on my part to uh, translate uh, or to get working on. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Oh, okay. So hang on, I need to change things up. Okay, so we uh, what do we have here? Okay, so inti her quad, inti her quad, see in. Was ist was ihr mich such tut? Ni was tut ihr, was in den Dio minus Vater sind gelimpfet mir wessan? So, let, let us unpack this lengthy, lengthy, well, I think it's length, lengthy little passage here from Tatian. Link is in the description below. So, this is a response to the first uh section that we looked at the first uh, excerpt inti is and so we have a conjunction there and he her is he um relate well it's related to the modern uh, preposition er in german like he 
uh, like er ist. So Herr ist would be the old East Frankish um, uh, um, version of that. So and he quad uh, said, si said to in. So in is plural dative. So to them, he said to them. So why them? Well, we're talking about I. Uh, the previous uh, the previous one was about. Hang on one second. Uh, yeah. So I and your mother. Um, uh, sorry, I and your father. So this is referring to them. So we use the plural here. So was ist das ihr uh, mich uh, sucht? Okay, so was is what, uh, uh, vo origin of uh, was in today's German, is, uh, same thing as, as it is today in German. Um, he's And he said to them, what is uh, that, das, ihr, ihr is, um, it's like saying you, but plural, plural form. So, put that there for now. Uh, mich is... Same thing as in modern day German, mich, um, accusative singular. Um, so, so what you me uh, sought or so like, so so the question here is that, hang on. So like, what is it that you sought me? Like, why? Do, in other words, why did you look for me? <laughs> you know, uh, another way of saying it. So why did you look for me? Uh, what and this is a more um, and again with 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 a uh, it says past tense. Um, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's past tense, but it's in the plural because it goes with. Um, uh, let's have this in blue, shall we? In blue. This goes with this now, so that goes with that. So yeah, okay. So, and he said to them, what is that you, plural, uh, me, sought? So, this is why it's important to know the, the like, uh, the number within a noun. And um, so whether it's something is plural, sorry, a singular plural or, or even dual. But, uh, but we, for in this video, we don't have to worry about dual right now. It's mostly singular and plural. So, okay, then we get into the more interesting stuff. In this sentence. Okay. Um, me west to air, thus in then, view minus fatter sind uh, gelimpfet mir wessern. Okay. Ni is a, nega is a negation. Uh, west hood is um, the pa uh, past plural of, uh, of the verb to know. So it's like saying an ear is, as we discussed earlier, a, a, a personal pronoun. It's like saying you, but plural. So, so this in the reverse order there. So we have verb pronoun. Uh, this puts it in a, a question form. So, and we have a negation that, that comes before the verb. So it's kind of like saying, did you not know thus is that in... Uh, okay, so this is where it gets a little a little tricky. I had um, trouble translating this because because um, thing is in, in the original, it's uh, there, there's a Latin uh, a, 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 a original uh, pardon me a, a, a original Latin which Tatian well some people leave a, or or the or the writer in question who people coin as Tatian. Um, translated or or in some cases it's glossed the latin so to speak so um and it'll take some mental gymnastics to unpack this so so uh, brace yourself for this all right so did you not know that in uh though these so because then is actually in the plural dative plural dative um in these therefore uh, therefore, the, um, it can mean therefore or therein, uh, the, but the, it can mean a bunch of things. It, it can, you, it's like saying the word the, um, for the uh, neuter plural, but, uh, it can be used, but when it has, uh, that would be like saying, 
in in case that they're in. So <clears throat> we'll go on with uh, that in uh, these, so to speak, they're in uh, and in these in these so it's like okay I, I, for, I forgot something in these things it's, it's sort of like the word things is sort of embedded in, embedded into, into the data so to speak so in the mean is fatter so if mean is fatter so we get mean this is the um uh mean is is my uh, possessive but it has a uh, but it's but it also has the the, the genitive es there so therefore it's like it's, it's like saying of my so therefore, uh, therein, of my father, Fater, and here it gets a little tricky, um, because we have sent here, and that's like are, as in like uh, we are sent, like we are. Uh, it's part of the verb to be. Um, this is where translating it into, into present English gets a little tricky. Um, so you can't, it's not easy to do things one per one. You kind of have to like reword it in a way that it makes, you got to get the meaning out, so to speak. <clears throat> Did you not know that it, that in these things, therein of my father, uh, are, are, uh, okay. So the next part is pretty interesting. So, glimfit mir wesson. Um, the verb here, um, gelimpfan, or gelimpfen, if if you will, or I believe it's gelimpfan, yeah, or, or gelimpfen. I have, to, I have to check on that. Anyway, the point is, is that this is an impersonal verb that um, some verbs, you know, they take the impersonal. Um, so, like, it'd be like saying Mia. Um, it's like, okay, for, it's like, for example, for those of you who know Old English, like to say, I like that, it'd be, it's like me, um, uh, um, the whatever um, so like <clears throat> in the old English example would be like saying um, to me uh, uh, pl uh, pleases the 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 I don't know the flower for, so but so in comparison to this verb it's like to me um, that which seems proper um, or that which fits, but what what I have learned about this verb in question, when used in this way, especially when uh, when, when sub uh, subsequently there's a verb that comes after, um, and has this uh, notion of like I must do or I must x verb. So um, so to translate this, it'd be like saying, uh, "Did you not know that in these things there in of my father I." Whoa, okay, hang on, I need to make this a little smaller. Okay, uh, my father, I must be. So, yeah, hang on, hang on, we're getting a little messy here. Okay, so, <clears throat> okay, so they're in. Um, okay, right, let's keep it like that. Okay, um, oops, okay, so that looks a little cleaner. Okay, did you not know that in these things, therein of my father are, um, I must be, I'm, I must, yeah, I, this, this thing is, it's not easy to, um, translate this word per word, you kind of have to reword it in, in another la language, that's the nature of translation, right, you have to get the meaning out, you know, and, uh, you can't do things word per word, because, because you can't, in, in one language to another, it's not, you can't, um, uh, do one for one, so to speak. Okay, so uh, did you not know? Did did you uh, not know, or or know not? Um, I guess that's what we can word it like that. Did you did you? Uh, hang on, hang on. Yeah, did you not know? Whoops. Hang on, hang on. No. Okay. Not know that in these things, uh, in these things, uh, in then, uh, in then, in these things, therein of my father, I must be. Yeah, okay. All right, that, that makes sort of sense, I would think, but it's, it's a, again, this is like a much older way of speaking that, uh, that for us uh, modern English speakers aren't used to, like this is like, as if somebody were to be talking like a book so to speak, did you not know that it, it, that in these things, therein of my father, I must be. 
Yeah. Um, I hope that makes sense. Um, so, so this for the uh, grammar, uh, this verb here, gelimpfit, uh, this is a, um, this is in the present, uh, present third person singular. Um, and it's, and it's has its, uh, takes the dative date. Um, that's the nature of, that's the nature of some impersonal verbs. They, they take the dative. Um, and we've got Wesson here and Wesson means to be, um, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, and, and, uh, before I, I did this video, this was my own workings of the previous, uh, sentence. Um, it's more or less what I said earlier. And yeah, so there, and, and that, that was my other workings of trying to figure this out. But, uh, as we worked it out here, um, this is the best I can make out of what this verb, uh, not this verb, this, what this passage is trying to articulate. So that, and he said to them, Inti her quad si in, was that is thus ir mich sucht tot? Ne, 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 was tut ir thus in den, thou minus vater sind glimpfit mir besan? And he said to them, what is it that you, you, me, sought, sought? Did you not know that in these things therein of my father uh, are, I, <laughs> I must be? Um, yeah, well, hmm, okay. Maybe, maybe the synth and the west on there are kind of like indicating that, I don't know, put emphasis on like the urgency that, uh, that I must, that in this, phrase here that I must be in the things of my father or the matters of my father or what have you. So, Hmm. Okay. Anyway, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and please subscribe if you're new. And if you really like the channel, please become a patron at my Patreon page down below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.